Good morning, Geometry. Today I'm going to give you some notes, but first we're going to pick the lighting that looks the best on this piece of paper. I'm going to give you four choices. This is number one. All right, what about that? That's number two. That's number three as another choice. This one is number four. And I don't like number four at all. So you guys let me know tomorrow, or I guess I should say today, when you like the best. Right now I'm gonna go with this one and I'm gonna finish today's video on this light here. Okay, so in 1.5 we have to talk about these different pairs of angles. You've got adjacent angles, which are two angles that lie in the same plane and have a common vertex on a common side, but no common interior points. So that means they're next to each other and they're touching like A, B, C, and C, B, D. Those two, and somebody's messing with my lights, thank you. Um, these are uh, adjacent angles. B, C, and C, D, uh, C, B, D are adjacent. Now, A, B, C, and D, B, E are not adjacent because they're not sharing a common side. Okay, so also we have to talk about a linear pair. So they're adjacent angles. Um, and it's like this, these two here, E, F, G, so that's this angle here, and the one right next to it, G, F, H. They're adjacent angles, but they also, between the two of them, they form a line. They form a flat line between the two of them, meaning that it's just a line, and then it's sliced by, an, you know, some way, by an angle going off. And those two are a linear pair because between the two of them, they, they what? They add up to 180 degrees. Now, vertical angles, vertical angles are formed by an X. So you got a pair of, uh, you got some vertical angles here. This angle, GFH, that's this one. And the one across from it, EFI, these two are vertical angles. They are a pair of vertical angles. And same with uh, you know this one and this one, GFE and HFI, those two are also vertical angles. In this diagram, you see some vertical angles like CBD is vertical to this one. I need another point out here, don't I? Uh, this one right there is vertical to that one. Okay, so... Uh, you have to know that in order to answer the questions about them. Um, <clears throat> one thing you'll be able to say is that if you've got the little box there, that means it's a right angle, that means it's 90 degrees. And so on the other side here, CBE is also 90 degrees, which means that this angle plus this angle here, this one and this one added together make 90. Now, there's no reason why they have to be 45 and 45. They could be cut in half or bisected like that, but they could be 89 and 1 for all we know. It's just we know they add up to 90. Just like these two angles have to add up to 180. These two have to add up to 180. Another linear pair. Another linear pair down here, this one and this one. And another linear pair here. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, complementary angles are ones that add up to 90. Supplementary angles are ones that add up to 180. Um, <clears throat> if you uh, talk about complementary, supplementary, you can remember complementary adds up to 90. Supplementary adds up to 180. C comes before S in the alphabet. 90 comes before 180. Uh, maybe you can remember it that way. That works for me. And they've got some uh, problems here, but I want to switch over to uh, 
fabulous thing here. Perpendicular lines. All right. Perpendicular lines like these two because they got the little box in the corner. I know I'm Captain Shadow on everything. Um, so that's these two lines intersect to form a right angle. That means that they are perpendicular. Uh, and you've got the little box there. That's the symbol. That's our way of knowing. Sir, so if you're doing this problem here, I don't know, can you see that very well? Boy, that's tough to see. Uh, you've got that this angle plus this angle have to add up to 90. And it's kind of small. I apologize for that. It's 9x plus 5 plus 3x plus 1 equals 90. So uh, that's, that's what's going on right over here. And that's how they solve this sort of uh, thing. That's just a quick example for you. Uh, here's another one. Looks like x and 5x. Well, guess what? x and 5x add up to 90. And that's an easy equation for you. Looks like these two angles add up to 90. Pretty easy. These two angles add up to 90. So it becomes a pre-algebra equation that you can easily solve. So make sure you answer all the questions when they ask you something like this. You know, you get your equation written down, you solve it for Y or X or whatever the case may be, and then you answer the question. If you find that a Y, then you gotta find RPT, you gotta find TPW. Okay, so uh, we're gonna talk, um, well, I guess we just have been talking about the review from uh, 1.4, where uh, some of this stuff is also discussed there. Okay, so remember, uh, rewind the video to the beginning if you need to. I need to hear from you. Choice one, choice two, choice three, choice four. Uh, we can look at it one more time if you want. Here's number one. Here's number two. Number three. And here's number four. Okay, let me know how you vote. All right, thank you.